What inspires you? Oh, that is a... Let's see if I can answer this quickly. Music, for sure. Um, music can just be a seed for a lot of things for me. Um, but um, I think I'm inspired in general with uh, ideas that you know show up when you least expect it. I, I can't really say how it works. I'll wake up or mm -hmm. I'll walk down the street and all of a sudden something hits me and there, there is inspiration to create something or do something or I have an idea or a vision, but I can't really say where they come from. But I do know that sometimes music helps. Mm. Mm -hmm. You live in the U.S. You divide your time between Stockholm and the U.S., especially New York. Yes. Why New York and why the U.S.? The, well, New York is a global city, which is very satisfying if you work in the arts because I get access to so many things, not only local, but really global artists and influences and trends and thoughts and people. I mean, it's very, it's very wonderful like that. I think it's important because I, I, I like to be exposed to a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. And um, also, I think, you know, when you grow up somewhere, at least I'm the kind of person who also feel like I, now I want to see who I am when I'm not here. Like, who am I when I remove myself from my original context? But that also means I like to be back home. So. Are you very different in the US than in Sweden? I, I, no, actually, I don't think so. I think I'm v exactly the same, but how I'm perceived is probably a little different, yeah. yeah. Mm. Do you see a general difference between Swedish and American dance? Yes. Well, I mean, I don't know if there's such a thing as American dance and Swedish dance, of mm. course, but in general, there in New York, there are certain things that are very specific, I find, to New York, certain ideas that have been cultivated there for a long time and that, that are very um, appreciated and you know that maybe doesn't really translate so much in Sweden and vice versa. Can you be specific? Um, I think there's certain ways of uh, thinking about contemporary dance especially that in Europe I would say and in uh, the US in New York are slightly different slightly different approaches to contemporary dance and of course they always meet and mingle so you know this is a, th this is a continuum it's not like one or the other but but I can definitely see that there are some differences in in approaches mm. um, you've been working also with dance films and rain um, that film was very uh, important for your career and yes. moved all over the world mm -hmm. and you work very visually um, how is it to work with other visual artists in your team? Are you a control freak? Yes, <laughs> but I don't have to be because, I mean, I am. I, uh, truthfully, I, 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 I am. But at the same time, I work with people who I very much respect and that I know are on the same frequency as I, and then I don't need to control anything. I mean, because we speak the same language and we have the same... Uh, we are aligned in our vision and it's, n it's never a problem, mm. let's just say. I don't make enemies. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I am certainly interested in these aspects and, I, I, and therefore I am very picky with whom I collaborate, obviously. Mm. And you recently worked with puppetry too. Yes. Were uh, you trained? No, I wanted to expand and uh, I wanted to learn something new. I, I, I had the opportunity to have a long creative process, which is you know, always what one uh, as an artist is like gold. And uh, so I thought, well, what can I do to really enhance, m you know, s my own understanding and uh, like learn something new and try something different. So puppetry was the, the thing I chose. Mm. In Rain, the dance film, uh, Alicia Vikander, who is now a, a great uh, actress that we like to uh, tell about that she's Swedish. Yes. <laughs> Are you still in touch with her? I am. She's, she's dancing in your film. Yes. Yeah. I, you know, it, I, I can't say with certainty, but if it wasn't the very first, it's one of the first roles that she ever had. Uh -huh. For the camera, yes. So she, she, Alicia Vikander did her debut, film debut with you. Certainly one, certainly one of the first ones, yeah. Great. Last question. Uh, tomorrow, 
you will have a world premiere with the Martha Graham Dance Company. Um, what is your relation? What was your relation before doing this work with the company? Well, Martha Graham uh, and her company um, is something that is so, or she was so important for dance, well, especially in America, but all over the world, that of course I knew who she was, I knew what she did, but I didn't fully appreciate uh, how big her influence has been because I started to understand that certain things, all of a sudden, when I started doing research about her, I saw, oh, this is where Pina Bausch got that, you know, where I saw I saw influences in choreographers where I didn't really understand before that where it came from. And the more I kind of investigated, the more I realized that, oh, actually, it, Martha Graham is everywhere. And uh, in Sweden, I see it in Kohlberg and, and Mats Ek and, and and then you start seeing people that do things completely differently and you realize that well actually the reason they do, did things differently is because they reacted to something that she had uh, been part of creating so um, I think her importance is you know cannot be underestimated um, but I had not you know trained Graham technique for a long time I did a little bit in school when I was very young but it's not something that I had kind of kept and uh, so it was kind of a Revisit to something from uh, that I knew from a long time ago. Mm, wonderful. Yes. Thank you so much, and good luck tomorrow. Thank you.